guys, today I'm going to show you what to do if your Gmail has stopped receiving emails. There's a few different things to do if this is happening. I'm going to show you what to do on your laptop as well as on the Gmail mobile app. So have your devices on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So the first thing you're going to want to do is launch and sign into your Gmail on your laptop. And in your inbox, if you've noticed you haven't been receiving certain emails from somebody, the first thing you're going to want to do is check your spam slash junk folder. On the Gmail website, your spam folder isn't going to show up here. You'll have to click more and then you'll find your spam farther down the list. You'll click on your spam folder and then you can go through and, and hopefully find the person or persons you're looking for. Once you've found it, it the next thing you're going to want to do is just reroute it so that anytime you get an email from this specific person, it's not going to go into your spam folder. It's going to instead go into your inbox. And to do this, you're going to select it and then you're going to select not spam at the top here. And it's going to say this conversation is unmarked as spam and has moved to your inbox. So now future messages from the sender are going to be sent to my inbox instead of spam. Another thing you can do instead of reporting it as not spam is you can just simply move it to your inbox. So if let's say you didn't want this sender's email to automatically come into your inbox, you can just manually move it yourself. Um, and to do this, you'll select it. And then you're gonna go to this folder with the arrow. This is the move to option. You'll click that. And then you're going to, you're going to select um, any one of these folders here. The next thing you're going to do is check your trash folder. So that's gonna be right below your spam folder. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. This helps the channel to grow and for us to reach a larger audience. Thanks again and let's get back to the video. You'll click on that. So your trash folder is automatically emptied every 30 days. So if you find that your trash folder is empty when you check, that's probably what happened. You can also search within your trash. And so up here at the top in this search bar, you have the option to search um, a particular person you're looking for and and if you find the email then you can follow the same steps as before by selecting it going to the move to option here and moving it to your inbox the next thing you're going to want to check to see is if there's a filter that's archiving unread emails sometimes what happens is you've created a filter to puts um, a specific sender's emails into a label. So down here you have your labels and your emails could be automatically being put there that, and that you don't know about. So you'll find your labels and if you see that they are automatically being sent to here, then we're gonna go into manage labels here and then filters and blocked addresses. And so here is where you're going to find, so if you had specific filters applied to certain emails, this is where you're going to find them and where you can go over um, and modify or even delete the filter. The next thing you're going to wanna check is how much storage you've used in your Gmail. You'll find your storage option in the manage labels here. In filters and blocked addresses, you'll see you've got the link here to, to see how much storage you have. You'll click on this. It's gonna bring you to a new page um, where you can see how many gigabytes you've used of your Google storage. So if you don't know any Google application that you use, so Google Drive, Google Docs, Gmail, etc., all of that storage is combined. So if you're using a lot of um, a lot of your storage in Google Docs, for example, your Gmail storage is gonna be running low as well. If you don't wanna purchase more storage, which you could do by clicking this up here, another thing you can do then is just go through all of your Google apps and just manually get rid of storage to clear some space because lack of storage could also be affecting the emails that you are receiving. The next thing you're going to wanna to look at is if you use forwarding and pop or IMAP on Gmail, You'll want to make sure that it's on and working properly. So we'll go into that. And in your forwarding, maybe you've put a filter on your email that specifically forwards it to another address and you forgot about it. If you had that filter applied, it's going to be right under here. You can see it. Um, you can edit it. You can get remove that filter if you needed to. 
And then if you did use these, you would just make sure that they were enabled and save your changes. Next, you're just going to want to make sure that your Gmail mobile app has been configured correctly. If you set up your Gmail wrong, which happens often, you may not be receiving emails properly. And so we're just... So if you think maybe that's the case, you'll want to reset up your Gmail mobile app. And to do this, you'll first want to disconnect your iPhone from your Gmail. And so you're going to go up to your icon on the top right. And beneath your icon, you'll find the manager Google account. So we'll go down to security and then scroll down to your devices. So this is going to be where you're signed in. And you'll find your iPhone's device and you'll click on that. You'll click on your device and then you can just simply sign out of it. Once you're signed out, you'll just sign back in on your phone and follow all the prompts correctly. And hopefully that should work. The last thing to check for on your laptop is that you have Wi-Fi connection. Um, and to make sure that you do, you're just going to go up to the top here and press on your Wi-Fi icon. If you're not connected, these bars here will be loading. You can also go down to the Wi-Fi settings. And just double check that you're connected here and then go into your Wi-Fi details. And if it's saying you're connected but it's still not working, a smart thing to do is always just to turn your Wi-Fi on and off again a few times, waiting about 30 seconds between each and reconnecting. You can also forget the Wi-Fi you've been connected to and re-log into it. You'll just find the known network and hit the three dots and you can forget the network. Then it should pop up in other networks here. You'll find it somewhere. And then when you click on it, you'll just have to re-log in and your Wi-Fi should be restarted. Okay, that's all for the computer. Let's jump over to the mobile app and I'll show you what to do there. So on the Gmail mobile app, there are a couple things you can do as well. So you can launch your Gmail app and just as before we can check our junk folder and to do this we're just going to click on mailboxes and we'll find the junk folder here and you'll scroll through hopefully finding the email that ended up here that you don't want here and when you find it you'll press and hold on that email and a list of options will be brought up here this is where you're going to find the move message option. So when you click move message, you'll click move message at the top here. And this is where you can choose where you would like to move it. So you can move it to your inbox or otherwise. Another way you can move emails to your inbox is by clicking the edit icon at the top and selecting the email you'd like to move. And at the bottom, you'll find the mark option on the left hand side. You'll click that and you can move to the inbox that way as well. You can also check your deleted folder. So you'll go to the trash icon here and you'll find all of your deleted emails there and follow the same steps as I showed you. So you can either press and hold and then select the move message option. You can click edit, click the email, mark, and then move. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this helpful. Maybe you can use this information or pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.